In the era of Dragon Ball Z just before Dragon Ball Super, the childhood story of one of the series' main characters, Prince Vegeta, became one which had much thought put into it and many details shown, yet still held new mysteries and information that was only to be uncovered along the way. By the time the Broly movie arrived, this lore was only further built upon. From birth, Vegeta was touted as having the most powerful key of any newborn, a far cry from that of his younger brother Tabu, who apparently was sent off world for being too weak. The secret however that neither Tabu or Vegeta knew of, was that there was yet another brother who also shared the same high power level at birth as Vegeta, and his name was Rigor. A child revealed in our last video to have been mothered by a Saiyan soldier, who was hidden and then tragically assassinated. When this young Saiyan finally grew up and discovered that Prince Vegeta was alive, he finally found his way to him to exact cold revenge on Vegeta, specifically for a reason yet to be revealed. And this is where this story continues. Interesting. Seems to me like you're underestimating me a bit, don't you think? Hardly. You see, I've always prided myself on my knack for being able to accurately gauge my opponent's abilities. Oh? Do tell. With pleasure. I can tell that you're a smart fighter and a seasoned warrior. Unless you knew it was the only way, you'd never use your full power against an opponent from the start. No, you're holding back a considerable amount of your power. At full power, I'd safely estimate that you're two if not three times stronger than you are now. Huh, <laughs> pretty smart. But, even after I consider all of those factors, even if you could quadruple your power, you would hardly be considered a match for me. Say what? <sighs> there. This is 60% of my full power. Slightly superior to what I estimate your full potential to be, but still more than enough to pound you into dust. <laughs> so you've gone from underestimating me to overestimating yourself. Do you really think you can take me when you're not even a Super Saiyan? Attack me and find out. He lost his mind. He can't be that strong. Is that all you can do? I expect you to be faster. <laughs> Seems you can dodge quick enough. You half-assed that punch. Made it easy to dodge on purpose. Why are you holding back? Believe it or not, Vegeta, I'm trying very hard to simply be courteous. If I were to cut loose, I'd probably kill you before you got the chance to suffer like you so deserve. Don't screw with me, damn you! To hell with your courtesy! Fight like you mean it! I don't need any encouragement. <laughs> what? How? I never saw him move! <laughs> you wanted to know before about why I've come here to kill you. Fine. I'm ready to tell you now. Earlier. I told you about how my mother died trying to save me from the king's assassins. There's a little more to that story. Remember when I said my mother jettisoned our pods as the assassins came? I neglected to mention that just before I was too far away to see, I watched my mother die, and I saw the face of the bastard who killed her. You, who are only four years old. You don't remember, but I do. My mother beat back the assassins, but you sauntered in with the king and shot her in the back like a coward. I've relived that moment every day since. Not a night has gone by that I haven't dreamt of the day when you would be crushed and broken, laying in the dirt groveling before me just as you are now, like the dog that you are. You are going to suffer, suffer just as I have all these years. I will grind you into nothing more than a bloody smear across my fists. And once I see your crumbled broken body, and I watch you choke on your own blood as you beg me for mercy, I will snuff your life out, slowly and painfully. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
What is this? He isn't even transformed. So how is he so powerful? The legendary Saiyan. Can his claims be true? Is he somehow different from Kakro and I? Damn it all. This is one hell of a mess. Come on, Vegeta, think. Everything has a breaking point. There's got to be a way to put this guy down. I won't lie, Vegeta. That was pretty unexpected. By transforming, you jump from a Class E power to a Class S. That's eight unit power classes. Still, even if such power, you are still grossly overmatched, despite your S Class unit power. My husband's base unit power at full strength is an S++ class, two whole classes above your barring, an extreme rate of improvement. You cannot defeat him, no matter how hard you fight. Heh, <laughs> it's actually kind of disappointing. Even as a Super Saiyan 4, you will prove barely any change to rigor at all. Huh? What's this? Two lower E-class powers heading this direction. They must be some of Vegeta's little friends. Well, they won't fare any better than Vegeta, but they may make the fight a little more interesting. Well, are you going to fight, or are you going to try and stare me to death? The legendary Saiyan? No way. There's no way he's the warrior of the legend. I don't believe for a second that he's as strong as he claims, but even if he's only half that strong, he'll still take almost all I have to match him. But, if he's telling the truth, no, I can't let what he said shake me up. I've got to gamble that it was all a bluff. <laughs> Interesting. Vegeta's key increased again. Nearly an S plus rating. He went three quarters power. Like that will make a difference. That's right. Just keep on smiling. I'm about to wipe that smug look off your face. Regale me. I'm waiting to be impressed. You scum! Go to hell! A huge shockwave from Vegeta's location. The battle's heating up. Goten! Pour on the speed, we have to hurry! <sighs> Vegeta's combo power is far stronger than I had originally calculated. I wonder if his little friends have similar abilities. This guy is strong, but he's not invincible. That attack should have taken some wind out of his sails. <gasps> no, no way! He... he... Ow. That almost hurt. <laughs> hmm, I'm not quite loosened up yet. I don't want to pull a muscle, you know. So I'll tell you what, I'm feeling generous. I'll give you one last chance to hit me with everything you've got before I really retaliate. Why that arrogant? What the hell is this? He took that attack at full force without so much as flinching. If he can shake off a blast like that at three quarters of my full strength, I have no choice. I have to use my full power. As much as I don't want to believe it, if he really is only using 60% of his power and he can toy with me like this, then it won't matter what I do. I'll be sunk. Well... It's now or never. I have to crank it all the way up. <laughs> Finally, your full power at last. Another ring crease? He's now an S plus class. Is there no limit to his reserves? Now, you're finished. Take this! power he deflected it with just a kick well so much for that he's dropped back to an s class he must have used it all up just now well that was it that was your full power i waited all these years and traveled halfway across the universe for that <laughs> i thought for sure that my own brother the prince of all saiyans would have had more to him than that I'd expected so much more out of you. Well, you had your chance. Now it's my turn. I'm going to enjoy this. Don't worry. 
I'll stall out gently. I... I'm sorry. Huh? What did you just say? I don't blame you for hating me. You have every right. I've walked your path before. It's like a big festering void inside you. And you can never hate or kill enough to fill it. But... The person who killed your mother isn't who I am anymore. I cannot reverse what has happened. If I could, I would take it all back. For whatever it's worth. I'm sorry. You... You miserable vermin. What? You're sorry? After everything you and your father have put me through. All you have to say is you're sorry. How dare you mock me of such trite. The murder of my mother. My exile. The countless sleepless nights haunted by endless nightmares. And an empty apology is supposed to fix everything. What? Did you think you would somehow melt my heart with some sappy words and all would be forgotten? Get real! You're sorry. That's rich. You turn my stomach. You want forgiveness? You want atonement? Alright. Put up what futile effort you can into defending your life while I crush you. Bleed for me. Beg for mercy. Beg me to spare your life so I can laugh at the notion. That will satisfy me and then... I will accept your apology. <sighs> We're getting close! Hang on, Vegeta! If you made it this far in the video, leave me a hashtag Vegeta in the comments once more if you want to see me cover the next part of this manga in my next video, and make sure to subscribe with your notification bell on to see when it's out. What do you guys think of the story so far and Riga's reasoning for revenge? Is he really a bad guy? Or is he doing what both me and you would do too? Start the debate down below and I'll be reading, but if you want to see more, I highly suggest clicking on one of the two videos on the right. With a combined viewership of over 250,000 views, you will not be disappointed. Until next video guys, cheers.